in the last video, we set up our client or our client beacons, and we created this function called connect to server, and it is blueprint callable. So this should allow us to hopefully establish a connection to the host beacon that gets created. So we're going to go ahead and try to set this up for testing. So the way to do that is we're going to simply create a test button. So I'm going to create a new button, very main portion. Add text box into it. I'm just going to rename the button E underscore test connect in all capitals and give the text the name of connect. I'll just make it black. You can see a little better. All right. So let's create a event. So on clicked, what we're going to do is spawn this object here. So a Nazi zombie beacon client. So we're going to right click, spawn actor from class. Class is going to be Nazi zombie beacon client. Transform is going to be empty because I think we need to pass it in normal. Yeah. So to make transform it's literally just going to be empty transform uh let's see printer let's see what is owner actor reference We're just going to get our player controller from set as the owner. Yeah, so that's just for the owner. All right, so that creates it just fine. So what we're going to do is run check. It's valid. And I'm going to set this to always spawn to ignore collisions, even though it should have no issue regardless. But regardless, if it is uh, valid, what we're going to do is run a doll. The function, the function that we made called connect to server, like so. We do a branch, uh, just to test true or false. We don't really need to print out anything right now because we have the logs to handle that. But we have the address, and the address is going to be our local address. So 127.0.0.1. Compile and save. So now we'll click it should get some sort of failure. Somewhere. Maybe it just never established anything, so it didn't print anything. So then false, we're going to print string. To failed init client. Set it up there for five seconds. Copy and paste that above. Success init client. I'm not exactly sure why it's successful, but I guess it doesn't matter all that much. So I'm going to go ahead and actually give this a test outside of the editor. So I'm going to launch two copies. And I just realized these are probably using the wrong, or, yep, wrong engine. So let me fix that real quick. Sorry. Binary. Take me to the end. Son of a gun. So path and save. Let's test that. And there it goes. So we got this one. It's got a host game. That will be 
this one here. I'm going to put it server at the top left and the client at the bottom right. Right at the client, get connect. And we have our logs. So remember, this one's a server and client can or connected client valid and client connected host beacon on the client. So if we look back here on the server and on connected, but on client connected, we have this UE log if the new client actor is valid and we have it printing out a message called client connect valid. That is this one here. So that is working just as intended. And on the client, we have on connected, client connected to host beacon. Client connected to host beacon, which is also valid. So we have determined that we have been able to make a proper connection to our host. So we have now actually been able to connect the two beacons together, which is great. So now that we have determined that we can, we made, well, we've established a proper connection, then we can go ahead and begin making RPC calls to actually work with our lobby. So I'm not going to be doing that in this one, but I'm going to leave this connect variable or connect button, sorry, out on the main menu so we can easily use this as a test. So that way we do not have to keep going here and try to find the game because we don't have a way to, for our server browser to properly pick that up. So once we actually get our lobby system in place and all that kind of stuff and everything working, after that's done, then we're going to be moving on to making our web API and our database. And that will allow us to, granted that's going to be probably a pretty big portion of this, but we're going to gradually expand on it as we go. But that's going to allow us to populate our server list to build, you know, find servers as well as host them and have them be advertised. So we're going to be creating our own master server, essentially. But this is just for testing for now. I'm actually going to remove that little print string, as that's not really needed. So I'm going to compile and save. And it's probably safe to move to the very top. Whoa. I'm going to move to the very top around our constructor. just so I have a good like knowledge of where it is because I do want to remove this later down the road. All right, so we established a proper connection. So we are good to go and good to continue. So in the next one, we're probably going to do a little, a couple little changes. Not exactly sure what that's going to be, but regardless, I will see you in that one. So this is good.